Hello, my name is Mara Shore with Shore Solutions, and I am here today co-moderating with my partner in crime, the other half of Shore Solutions, my father and business partner, Jay Shore. And we are thrilled to have a very dear friend here with us today that we're going to be talking about a number of things that she does. So Dory Sukup is the founder and CEO of Inspiration Management. And Dory has such a wealth of knowledge that she is bringing to the table. But more importantly today, Dory, you're talking about how to differentiate yourself with really authority marketing and yes. how to really make yourself stand out from the crowd. Yes. So in today's competitive world, tell me a little bit about that differentiation. It is, it's true. Today, there is a medispa, there's a practice, yes. plastic surgery on every corner. Yes. And more likely, consumers are to find you online than anywhere else. So they go searching, and that finger, you know, is very fast, right? Yes. So how do you differentiate yourself from basically an online presence? Right. And often, websites are nothing but an online brochure. Mm -hmm. It looks exactly, one website looks exactly like the other. Right. And as an entrepreneur and as a founder of a business, you want to attract people. And the best way to attract people is to practice authority marketing and have people be drawn to you. Yes. So how do you do that? Or what is authority marketing? Actually, not a lot of people speak about this topic. Right. So tell me, what is authority marketing? So authority <laughs> marketing is when you position yourself or your practice as the experts, as the authority. And people know that you are the influencer, you are the Makes expert in the, in the community. And one best way to do that mm -hmm. is the things that we teach is to become published, to become a speaker, mm -hmm. and to truly position yourself as an expert so people are drawn to you. Yes. And often everybody copies everybody and they do the same type of marketing. And it just doesn't work anymore. You have to be different. Right, right. You know, Doria, um, authority marketing is a new term. And every day we learn different terminology in this business. Mm -hmm. As a fellow colleague, you work very heavily in the spa management business. We work heavily in the medical practice management mm -hmm. business. We have shared some clients in the past. We lecture at a lot of the same conferences yes. together. Authority marketing when we try to promote services for our client base, and I know that you do do very well in your publications and everything, how does somebody contact a professional like yourself for authority marketing? How do you get the name out of what real authority marketing is? Because we all know there's all types of marketing companies out mm -hmm. there, but there's only one inspiration That's company right. out there. <laughs> Yes, actually, I love this part of our business, and we help all sorts of spas and medi spas, entrepreneurs that really want to be the authority in their community. And the best way to do it, actually, there are several ways to do it, but one way is to become a speaker. Mm -hmm. As you know, you speak all the time, Mara speaks all the time. When someone sees you speak, it makes such a big difference. Mm -hmm. It gives you that authority. And one way to do it, and e easy way to do it, is to start doing videos like we're doing on this show, right? Yes, yes. And one way to really position yourself as an expert is to start getting in front of the camera and start doing little mini clips to tell the visitors that are coming to your website that you are the authority. But you know, not many people do that. Not many people get in front of a camera and actually speak. So do you think that somebody <laughs> needs a big fancy camera and a big fancy studio in their practice in order not to do all. this? What do you, I mean, what are not your tips all. for the best way to take to a, start. Quick, a quick video that they're gonna be comfortable with? Yes, the quickest way to start actually, it could be as easy as using an iPhone. And a good way to practice with that is just to buy you a nice little tripod, mm -hmm. put it right in front of your desk, and just start speaking. Mm -hmm. The thing is, they are experts. Yes. It's all in their heads. Yes. So all they have to do is sit there and just pick one topic, or just take a product, or take a treatment mm -hmm. that they are experts at, and just start speaking about it. Yes. That way, when visitors come to their websites, and they can see all these videos, or they can go to their YouTube channel and see all these videos, automatically the consumer is thinking they are an expert because they yes. know what they're talking about. And do you find that the more that they do it, the easier it will get for them, the more comfortable Absolutely. they'll be? You know, it's funny. Uh, we have hundreds of videos on my YouTube channel. 
and I go back sometimes and I look at past ones. You see me with short brown hair. Right, right, yes. The hair, the hair, the transition, hair transition is always <laughs> fun. As women, it's always fun to see our hair transition through the it years. It is so much fun. But you know, my very first video, I was not comfortable in front of the right. camera. Right. But now, you know, I have a little studio in our office mm -hmm. and I just, whenever I'm ready to do a video, I just get in front of the camera and do it. And sure enough, the more you do it, the it better you get. It just becomes natural after a while. It does. No, that's true, Dory, but you know, people like yourself and like us, we've been doing this a long time. We've been speaking for a long time in front of very small audiences, unfortunately, sometimes. Um, and many or times, large. Or, but many times, <laughs> right. very large audiences. Right. When you first get started in there, you, know, you and I both know there are many people that are so scared, the heart starts pounding, yeah. they don't have the professional uh, wherewithal. What guidance can you give that person that basically either is a doctor in the medical practice mm -hmm. that has not yet hired you as a professional, yes. to have that comfort and ease because you can know your material and right. still not have the physical wherewithal mm -hmm. and presence to be able to yes. create good ma marketing. So there's coaching that we go through that we can help them create that presence in front of the camera so they are seen as the professional and the expert. But actually a very easy tip and how I got started mm -hmm. actually years ago in doing videos is I would script out my thought process of what points do I want to make to the audience that I'm speaking to. And once you script out your points, uh, you could use a monitor when you first get started, the mm -hmm. teleprompter actually, yes. if when you first get started. And um, you can start with that. I don't use a teleprompter anymore. I can just get in my studio now and just <laughs> give, got give, it. Give, give my spiel. You got it. But uh, that's a good way to start. And then we teach them on their presence, the way they, like you're sitting in a perfect uh, stand Why, right you. Like you are. And it's so important because you want people to see you in a way where you are camera ready. Yes. But you know what? The, in today's world, people like real too. So it doesn't have to be so perfect. I mean, we have a great production team here to do this show. Yes. But if you're at home, all you need really, again, is a, is a phone or a little camera and just start doing it. And the more you do it, the better you're going to get. Yes. In closing, Dory, we know that you're a very well-published author. I've read some of your writings, but you also help other people publish. Can you give us a, a concept on how do you get started in yes. writing and helping others in getting their message across in print? That's a great question. Actually, how I started writing is started doing articles at first. Mm -hmm. When you're trying to write a book all in the beginning, it's not gonna happen. So like when I published my first book, I took a series of articles that I had written over okay. the years and just went in and modified them. And before you know it, you have an entire book, right? So this is a great way to do it. But what's nice about having a published book is it puts you on a whole different level than other people. Because when people know you're a published author, it just puts you in a totally different class of yes. positioning. But not only can I help? Can I help you brag? <laughs> yes, and, please and, do. And, and, and show. Actually, this is how, my favorite seminar that I do. All right. <laughs> I'm going to help Dory brag here for a minute and show uh, how she helps other people to become published as well. Naturally, Mara and I get published every month in major articles. But yes. how do you go about helping your client base do? wonderful Write books, books like this. yeah so we have this site they can go to it's called becomepublished.com where we actually have a seminar and we help people professionals entrepreneurs doctors actually become published authors and it's an amazing event everybody that comes to it and publishes their book rave about it and I would love to help our audience here become published authors. I love that concept. <laughs> yes. I absolutely love that concept. So it's becomepublished.com. Yes, becomepublished.com. Ladies love and gentlemen, that. Dory Sukup, CEO and founder uh, of Inspiration. Thank you so much, Dory, for being here. It was a pleasure. It. Thank you so Mara, much, Dory. Always a pleasure.